Hello again, Steve here. I just found a little pull off inside the road here, beside the Copper River. Uh, very pretty valley here. I don't know if you can see. I'm actually standing on a dike here, and it's overlooking the river here. This is kind of a rapidly flowing river, and I don't know if you can see how brown it is. I'm not sure if that's why they call it the Copper River, but that's the name on the on the bridge over there when you when you pass it. And this is a dike. It must have jumped its banks at one point. I think it's a dike anyway. It's built up quite a ways. That's protective. So there's houses about a half a mile down on, on that side of the dike, so it must have reached at one time and built this dike up. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about something I had talked about before, and a little bit of a different take on it probably, which is, because I've been thinking a lot more about, in terms of protecting ourselves and being aware of scams that can come our way, and they can come from all sorts of angles, and insidiously almost from those who we, we've been led to believe that we should trust. Things like our institutions, like a, our people, like authority figures, this sort of thing. And today I want to talk about, uh, about law or legalities. And I know I talked about this before, and though this is a little bit of a different take on it, I have to admit myself that as I go along, as I go through life, I end up, end up editing what I previously said. Sometimes reading, listening back to what I said before is almost embarrassing because there are inaccuracies in, I have to admit, in what I say so often. It's not because I'm not trying to teach anybody, I'm just sharing ideas as they come to me. And little by little, I get greater clarity, I think, on things that uh, things make more sense. It will see the world a bit clearer, I think. And I think this is pretty simple to follow. And it's important, I'll try to wrap it up at the end as to why I think this is important. But law, as I had mentioned before in a previous video, if you look it up in its origin of its word, origin of the word rather, it means to lay down. It means that a law is something you can't change. You know, if I pick up this piece of snow, and I open my hand, it falls. That's according to law. It's a law of gravity, right? It's not like, so law, the basis of, or law in itself, the real, the, that real sense, I'm gonna call it here, um, like law of nature. We as human beings didn't come up with this stuff. In fact, it's within this law that we live our lives, you know? I'm able to walk upon the earth below me because of that law of gravity. Because of that law of gravity, I'm able to have traction on my feet on the dirt below. These sort of things. Well, there's all sorts of of law that we, we have words for, it. things like chemical reactions. You know, when you put in a certain environment, you put in oxygen, you put oxygen and hydrogen together, you create water. Or water is created. Well, we don't create it. It is created by a law of chem by some sort of a law of chemical reaction, chemical affinity, and it's, it's just what happens. There's nuclear nuclear reactions. The what happens in the in the in, the, in an atom, atomic activity. This is according to law. That's because. Whether we're here or not, whether I'm standing here or not, whether you're standing here or not, these things are so, and we didn't invent it. There's no amount of people saying, well, okay, we're going to suspend gravity for today. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't matter whether we believe it or not. That is law. And that is the basis of the word. It means laid down, unmovable, unchangeable. It's just, it's just, it just is, right? The next thing that we... Where the confusion starts to come in is we hear things like common law. And we hear things like, that guy over there who's got the gun on his hip, he is the law. Well, this is where this is where words start to get warped. Because they're not law anymore. I mean, if we say common law, 
That's not law in the same way that, in, in the original sense of the word. Why? Because it's man-made. So where, where the, where real law, law of gravity, for example, it applies to everything. Everything is subject to law. Common law is only, only, only we are subject to it because we've said so. And this is, so it's not really law, that's why we, we say it together, we say common law, just like there's a seahorse. It's not actually a horse, but it's a seahorse, right? So common law is not really law, it's common law. It has to be used in conjunction with, the, with common. And it kind of comes from the same root as common sense. We all have it. It's a way of, common sense might be a way that we could live our lives through. Common law is a way that we can live with others. It's a sort of a stability, a peace, a peaceful coexistence with others. And it has to do with things like, you know, prohibitions essentially, that we prohibit ourselves, that we wouldn't want done to us. Therefore, in order to get along with others, we don't do them to others. Things like, we, we don't want to be killed, so we're not going to kill anybody. So they're really preferences. They're not, like common law is a preference, right? It's rather than a law. I don't want to be stolen from, therefore I won't steal from anybody. I don't like to be lied to and and be uh, have somebody defraud me, therefore I won't lie to everybody, anybody else and, and, and defraud them. Or if I do, I, they have the right to call me on it. And, or they have, they have, you know, I'm, I'm to accept them calling me on it, let's put it this way. So, going back again then, law applies to everything. Common law, just like co we can have common sense within us, common law amongst us is how, how we get along together. So it has to do with, with men and women, human beings, right? And then there is legal. And legal is often, is often, the, the words law and legal often get, um, get confused. And it's, it's one of those distortions that is used by legal societies, so-called law societies, to change the meaning of words, to, to get us to think that this is actually law. But it's not law in the basis of the term. The basis of the term is we can't change law. Legal is, you know, what is legal one day is not legal the next, or what is illegal one day is legal the next. So it's constantly changing. It's arbitrary. So it's, it's, the op it's actually the exact opposite of law. Legal is exactly the opposite of law. Law cannot be changed and cannot be made by us for that matter. But legal is made all the time and is changed all the time. So that's exactly the opposite in nature, right? And furthermore, who does legal apply to? It only applies to what man creates. So if we, you and I sit down and we create a game, we call it chess, or we call it something else, but let's say we were the first ones to invent chess. Then we would sit down and create a bunch of legal rules for that game. So it only applies to the game, right? And And it's it's um, legal comes from comes from the word it's it's the same origin as the word loyal and, and loyal or loyalty means we we've made a decision to be allied with 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 those guys that society or that society or this group it's it's a it's a choice it's like a decision that we've so we can change our loyalty we can have we can be a liberal one day. And then we'll cross the bench, cross the floor, and be a conservative the next. We've changed our loyalty. So it's you can see that there's a decision process involved. And so it's therefore there's choice and there's agreement involved. So if we use the example that I talked about before, about how the game, let's say the game of, of chess, well, when we sit down and play it, and we're playing across the board, we've agreed to follow a certain certain set of rules for that game. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense. The game, the game is based on rules, after all. So, so it's interesting.
interesting, and, it, and, and also if you read, if you do any reading into legal, legal rules that are called statutes basically, they never talk about any obligations whatsoever to do with man, woman, human beings, whatever it is that we flesh and blood truly are, or that a manifestation of what we are, if you want to take it that way. There's never any reference of any obligations ever in them. And if you, if you wonder why, just, just have a look at this. You know, law is for everything. Common law is what we decide we're going we're gonna to use, what, what, what we decide as, as, as a group of people who've agreed to live in peace, what we're going to abide by. And, and it just, it's the ba very, very basis, life, property, you know, uh, being truthful without defrauding each other. It doesn't have to go any more than that. It's, it's, it's taken care of. And, but the, um, so, and then it applies to us because we, we become responsible. You know, if I injure somebody, I, this man, am responsible for that. Whereas in legal, it's always talking about abstracts. It's talking about persons. It's talking about corporations. It's talking about drivers. It's talking about politicians and lawyers and all of these things that are that are just like the chess pieces. They're not actually us. We have to actually enter them as in the game or assume we have to be the, the movers of them. So it's, it's, why is this important to improving the quality of our life experience? Well, once again, it helps us, I believe anyways, as I see it, more than just belief, but there's a soundness to the belief that, that um, when we get to know ourselves a little bit more, we can then have, we take more responsibility for our lives, true, and be able to direct our lives more with honesty within ourselves. So when somebody says something, when somebody's talking about, you know, so if somebody says that something simple as wearing a seatbelt is the law, we know that we probably realize they don't know what they're really talking about. Uh, but we know what they're talking about. They're talking about legal. They're not talking about law. And they're not talking about us either. They're talking about a fictional entity called a driver who has a, and, 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 and coupled with a man or a woman who has agreed to abide by those regulations just like when the pawn on the chessboard can only move so many spots it's not like we the player can delude ourselves to believe that we are the pawn we're just temporarily agreeing to that so it's, it's, it's also very interesting to realize, you know, this can go even farther, of course, because each and every one of us uses a name. We use a name because when we're with other people, we can say, hey, Bob, or hey, John, or hey, Sue, and they know who we're talking about. But the name is not us. And if we ever get in trouble, so-called trouble, with people who are so deluded that believe, believe it, to believe that legal is lawful then if they ask us are you so and so are you mr johnson you can honestly say that no i'm not i'm not mr johnson how can i possibly mr johnson is just a sound or it's just some strokes on a paper or it's a name you're not that because mr johnson is a legal entity and they're talking to that. They want you to show up for Mr. Johnson. They want to co-opt your name to make it something legal rather than something commonly recognized, commonly known as. And it just helps us to, to just see things so clearly. We can see the game. It's like in, in, in uh, The Wizard of Oz where somebody finally pulls back the, the curtain and we just see what's going on. And life, life takes... All of a sudden, we see things that are real. We see the river. We can see the trees. We can see the snow and see ourselves as real. 
But so much of the time, people are talking about fantasy and believing it's true because they're living in the realm of legal rather than lawful. And the more we can live in the, in the realm of lawful, we can, we realize that we're compelled by the law, by real law. Uh, but we're not compelled, except by our agreements, to, to legal. And though society is, people, people in society, for the most part, have been deluded and, and programmed for so many years through, through their parents, their churches, and their schools, and everything, uh, their media, that um, there's something real about the unreal. There's something uh, that that faith is they almost like a that's almost like to them like that faith is a higher um, a higher reality, if you will, than reality. Um, it, it's it's not easy for sure, but at least we can begin the process of opening our eyes to what is real and realize that everything else is just a construct of people's fantasy, people's mentality, but nevertheless they live by it. And, and, but also too, when we, when we talk to people uh, very calmly and very clearly, they can, they can start to question this and people can start to wake up and we can have, I believe, better interactions with people when we deal with them real rather than through, through fantasies. And we, start to go back to real law, recognizing the laws of nature and recognizing that we have, it's like a law, but it's not really law. It's a pref there's preferences. We want to live. We want to be able to use the goods of our labor. We want to be able to be treated fairly and honestly. And we don't need any anything more than that. We don't need a whole bunch of legal constructs that um, that we then have to enter into something else because because that once again legal we don't have to adjust our loyalty to fantasies we can actually be loyal to the reality and the loyalty the, the legality or the loyalty of the loyalty to reality is is, is is recognizing law I would say I know it's a little bit of a ramble here but I, I think it's important to recognize the distinction between what I'm going to call right here the, the law of nature, which is all of the inherent laws of the of the universe, for for lack of a better term. And there's the there's the common law. These are these are so so the the law of the, of the these of the universe apply to everything. Laws of the universe. The the law the common law is kind of like equivalent to the common sense that we have within our individuality, but then extended in construct to agreements that we have to have a peaceful coexistence. We call that common law. That's among men and women, among human beings, to have a peaceful society so that we don't want to um, damage anybody else and steal their property and uh, defraud them. And to realize that man for convenience and and the attempt to basically steal from them has invented this whole other fantasy world called legal which is an attempt to help to get us to change our loyalty from reality to unreality and to flip things completely upside down so what is what is laid down becomes ever changeable at the whims of people that we we wouldn't want to necessarily uh trust with anything, but yet we'll let them sometimes get away with uh, telling us that we have to abide by uh, according to fantasies. I think it's important because once we realize those distinctions, we can help ourselves to see ourselves, see the world more clearly. And when we do that, we can make decisions and be more responsible. And when we do all that, our, in, our deep down quality of life rises up because we can just, well, for one thing, we can be ourselves. We can be more honest with other people. And we can also see people for people rather than through legal veils. We can see other, our brothers and sisters in humanity for what they are. We can see nature more or less for what it is more clearly because we're basing ourselves in law and our 
realizing our preferences in life are really universal. Everybody wants to live. Everybody, everybody wants to have access to, the, to, to what they produce. Every, nobody wants to be um, lied to and defrauded and cheated and ripped off and these sorts of things. These things are universal. So, uh, not much else to say today. I'm going to go for a little drive down the, the top of the dike here. See where it leads me. Looks pretty solid. Snow has pretty much melted away. Anyway, I'll talk to you again in a few days or maybe tomorrow. My name is Steve. I'll sign off for now. Have yourself a great day.